don't do it guys don't place trades based on what you see here please consult your own financial advisors and do your own due diligence all right with that said let's go all right it was not the best day ever all right so down a hundred bucks or so uh by the way it's october 4th it's supposed to be october 3rd um wednesday night but it ain't of course it's almost 1 a.m again 12 30 p.m so I had a modestly negative day. We knew that uh, the reversal Tuesday did some good, but Wednesday calmed my account down a little bit. So that's what's up. Okay, uh, things that happen, AXK down 3%. Uh, big movers. Other than that, um, uranium was up a percent or so. Chemical almost two percent. Apple was up a little bit, if I remember, a percent point two two. It's now at a, I think, a close to an all-time high here. It's two thirty-one. It was two thirty-three at one point during the day. Craziness. I bought some EDF, the emerging markets. I'm trying to accumulate some more of that. Um, my market short paid a dividend of two bucks, which is weird. Okay, so I have no more money. Um, to play with I'm gonna have to put some more money in there at some point but even without me putting money in man my account value going up I'm really happy about that so far since I've been doing it what is it a 46th episode uh, I'm uh, probably a thousand and four hundred bucks something like that thousand three hundred it's not bad let's take a look at the old time and see how it's moving now you gotta remember though okay that this is the, the graph You'd invest in this company um, if it was a company, but you can see like it wasn't moving much in the beginning because I didn't just didn't have that much money in it. You know, it's like, look, uh, a year into it is only 400 buck movement. But anyway, um, what else is happening? I don't nothing really eventful. I mean, I wish I had things to talk about. Oh, yeah, Brazil. Um, Still up, SIG is up an, another 6.45%, it's doing good. The uh, options, I have four contracts sold against SIG, so um, 400 shares of collateral over here. Now, that is not, you know, that's that's going down, but the thing is, I don't mind so much. I wouldn't even mind if this went over 250, which is what the calls are sold at. Um, I would still be making a uh, decent money, so I don't want this to go down. Like if it goes up towards 250, I'll be happy. In fact, I want SIG and EXK to end at 250 in January. That would be just optimal. That would be the best. I'd be collecting premium. I'd be. I would have a portfolio rise in value a little bit. Just be the best of all worlds. All right, that's what would happen. The market was pretty much flat today. Uh, the 10 year, the biggest news was the 10 year yield of uh, the treasure, you know, of bonds, 10 year bond of the America, the US of A. It went up to 316. 316. Let me see if there's a. a what is this? I share is 10, 20 year treasury bond. So it should have gone down. Yeah, look. Because the yields travel inversely to the price of the bonds. Woo! Excuse me. All right, so. Yeah, the yield went up. It's at 316 right now, which is crazy. All right, that's such high. And it's going to go even higher, probably. Um, gas is going higher. 10 years going higher. That's Those are two are real good signs of inflation happening, which has kind of been the thesis here. At least my thesis. So some of these things are confirming what is happening. I see real prices or real prices. Nominal price of goods, at least in my area, definitely going up. Rents have slowed down a little bit, but they're still increasing. Um, same with house prices. House prices. Uh, so inflation is here, and it's reflected in the 10-year yield and in gas prices. And soon in everything else, except apparently precious metals. 
Now, the reason why they're not is because, of course, the dollar is strong and precious metals are much more global market here than like local price goods. Although oil is global too. But anyways, precious metals are not filling in yet. That means the uh, investors are not believing this. The story, they're not believing the story of inflation. So we'll see though. We'll see what happens. I'm curious. Right now, it's very much steady as she goes type of an environment. I'm just collecting money on my time. And um, I'm, I'm just really hoping that uh, uranium miners stay around this area. This would just be optimal. Look at this. Look at this five-year chart. How beautiful and flat it is. So if chemical stays like this for like the next two, three years, I'll be able to collect a lot of money off of it. Looking forward to doing that. If you can see here, I have $3,850 worth of collateral in cash and then 100 shares. Excuse me again, of course, late night recording, but I got to do it. You know, this is my commitment here to myself to keep myself accountable and trying until I get this account to a million. This is 30000 to a million. And right now we're sitting... <laughs> And right now we're sitting only at 36,000 and a half, but it's going to happen. It's early. It's going to take some work, but we can do it. It's possible. It's been done before. All right. All right. Without boring you too much. Um, oh, by the way, my wheat and precious metals put at 16.5 is holding right now, but only by 50 cents. For sure, so we'll see if uh, we're able to withstand the price action here. I wouldn't mind having it by November 9th. I wouldn't mind having precious, wheat and precious metals 16.5, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Things are about to expire pretty soon. On the 19th, we have uh, two puts expiring for Cameco. Probably going to collect the rest of those, those dollars. It's like three bucks each or something. Six dollars from here. We're going to have a uh, SXCP put sell. Uh, that's probably going to expire as well. It's $25, $15 put. Let me see where it's at. 50.21. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. Um, and then we have what else is expiring on the 19th? We have Ford. Ford. Nine dollar put, and so that is it's a nine seventeen, really close. All right, so we're cutting it close, boys and girls. So we'll see. Okay, well I'm excited for the future. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Hopefully it's a better day today, but I won't even mind if it stays flat this week. Um, I had I may escort some major gains on Tuesday and last week Friday, so I'm I'm happy about that. We'll see if I can hold on to them this week. But uh, if the market surprises me on the upside, I'm not gonna hate it. Oh, this is one thing I'm going, to, I'm going to try to get rid of. SKT, the Tanger Factory Outlet Centers. Um, they pay a good def dividend, but the thing is, look at this. I'm just really, <laughs> no one really, zero <laughs> percent, zero people out of eight think uh, it's a buy. But look at the steady earning. You see this? Oh, this is steady. Steady, steady earning. Always beating expectations. $7 dividend on. Oh man, that's a lot of yawning. Uh, $7 dividend on $437 invested into it. And I'm only 30 bucks in a negative here. All right, wow. Could have been better. Could be better. All right. Well, anyways, um, that's about it. R wraps up my portfolio review here. The day's performance. Hopefully we do better tomorrow. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to check the action. I don't sound excited because I'm dead tired, but tomorrow I'm going to be hopping up and down, holding my phone, you know, trying to hydrate because of all the energy I'm burning up in anticipation of the uh, latest and greatest price action tick. Okay. 
with that said, I think we're all done here. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.